What is up YouTube? We've got a really fun video for everybody today. We have a new Pokemon Go product that just came in the mail a couple days ago and it's going to be the Pikachu tin from Pokemon Go. There's also a Blissey variant and a Snorlax variant which we also picked up so we'll be opening those over the next couple weeks. I wanted to mention real quick that it's weird that this comes in a paper holder because the last tins that we opened, the Samurai, uh, the Sidui, and Typhlosion came in a plastic container which is pretty odd. All right, so I went to take out the promo and I already knew that this wasn't a promo. So that's why I kind of didn't want to pick this box up because just a regular Pikachu with a new holo pattern. But I did not know. I thought it was gonna be a code card behind it. But look, there's an actual Black Star promo Pikachu holding a gift, a gift delivery Pikachu. And I really didn't know it was gonna come in this tin. So I wish I would've got that on camera. I, op I opened it off camera that part, um, but I was super excited and I'm really happy about that. It makes this tin way cooler in my opinion. Oddly enough, the tin does come with some stickers in it, which is pretty cute, but weird for sure. And most importantly, we do get our four Pokemon Go TCG packs. Let's get right into the first one. Now, if you haven't seen our last Pokemon Go unboxing video, make sure you do. Be Was there always no code cards in them? Or am I losing my mind? Okay, let's just do four to the front. I could have sworn there's code cards in these. And also let's count the cards, because that's weird. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven Melmetal VMAX. So it has all the cards inside. I could have sworn that it's supposed to come with a code card, but we'll see in the next pack, I guess. That, that is a new card, I think. Or maybe we got it in the last video, not sure. Just gonna leave them up on camera. If I'm stuttering a bit, is it's because I'm pretty confused, but the next pack, I'll get my game back on. That was really weird. Right into pack number two. Let's see if this one has a code card. I'm almost certain that they're supposed to. Yep, and there it is. Okay, so I'm not losing my mind. I'm not crazy. I have opened some of these products and they had code cards. I thought I was going crazy there for a second, but we're good. Leaf Energy, War Turtle, Soul Rock, Lure Module, Charmander, Apom, Bulbasaur, Pidov, Magikarp, Slowpoke Reverse Hollow, and Sylveon Hollow. Each card comes with a, or each pack comes with a Hollow card guaranteed, so nothing special. Right into pack number three, I did want to mention that if you guys are enjoying these Pokemon Go openings, please leave a like on this video. It helps us out a ton, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. We really do appreciate it. Also, if you guys play Pokemon Go, let me know down in the comments below. Um, I play. I used to play pretty re religiously. Now I don't play as much, but if you guys want to add me as a friend, I'm more than happy to do so. Charmeleon, Pikachu, Squirtle, Bibarel, Rattata. We still haven't gotten a Ditto or a Radiant card. Lure Module Reverse Hollow, and Blissey Hollow. So nothing in that pack. And with that, we are at our last pack for the video. Um, I want to do the math real quick, but I don't remember exactly what we opened. I think it was like 8 and 10. So this will be our 22nd pack without a Ditto or a Radiant card. That is a lot. So I would love to get it maybe in this last pack. At least one of them to check off the list. Spark, Raticate, Tranquil, Larvitar, Not 2, Ambipom, No More Reverse Hollow, and it is a Ditto. So we'll look at that in a second. Let's see what's behind it. Tyranitar Hollow. Okay, so you see a little ditto marker there? It's not a regular Numble, and in the Pokemon Go game, Numble can be a ditto, so that's why they chose this one. But if I'm not mistaken, watch, I just ruined the card. <laughs> There's supposed to be a special trick. There we go. Oh, this is satisfying. Okay, I wish you guys could experience this. It's amazing. You pull it off, and it's just such a great idea. I wish they did this like kind of stuff more often. It's honestly amazing. And it has a beautiful ditto underneath in pristine condition. It doesn't get any mintier than that. So I did want to take one off for the video, but hopefully I can get another one and leave it in the same condition. But yeah, look at that. It's a little sticky on the back. It looks beautiful, both cards, and I'm really happy. All right, just going to sleeve that up real quick. And it is a rare. I wanted to note that. And it's a hollow, actually, even though it's in the reverse hollow spot. So very cool. Now we just need a radiant card, any radiant card, any of them. As always, that does bring us to the end of today's video. You guys know the drill. I love showing off the hits for the day. Ditto. Super ecstatic about that. I'm sure you guys can tell. And a Melmetal VMAX, which I'm not as excited about, but that is okay. We also have our Pikachu promo. It has a new holo pattern. And our actual Pikachu promo, which I'm really excited about. So 
glad that they added that in i want to see if they have any other stuff in the other tins or if they're all going to come with this pikachu promo maybe i guess we'll see in next week's opening I appreciate you guys watching and sticking around till the end of the video. If you guys made this far, comment down below how many dittos you've gotten, how many packs you've opened, because I want to know if just we've been having pretty bad luck or if it's supposed to be like that. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.